Hello, I'm Carolyn and in this video I'm going to show how you can use tile clones with Rotate in Inkscape to create designs for your cutter like these shown on the screen. For the examples in this video I'm just going to use a star. I'm only using one shape just to show that many different looks can be achieved quite easily. So I'll start by drawing a star. Then I'll go Edit, Clone, Create Tiled Clones. In symmetry, I'm going to leave it at P1, simple translation. Then I'm going to move to the Shift tab. At Shift X in column, I'm going to change the setting to minus 100. Whenever you're creating tiled clones with Rotate, always change the column to minus 100. Then I'm going to move to the Rotation tab. I'm going to change the angle for columns and set how many rows and columns I want. Rows will always be one, but columns you will change. I might change this to 12. So if columns are 12, angle has to be 30. Because 30 times 12 equals 360. As I want my stars to rotate in a full circle, the angle multiplied by the columns must total 360. I'm just going to zoom in and click on the star again so I can see the centre point. I'll go to outline view so it's a bit easier to see on the screen. You can see in the centre of the star is this little cross here. Now that is where all the stars will rotate. For the first example, I'm not going to change where it rotates. Just go back to normal view. So I'll click on Create. Now I can see that I've got 12 tile clones, the same as I had 12 columns. Now they have all rotated on top of the original, and the original is the one selected at the moment. Now I actually like this look, but it's not suitable for cutting yet. It will actually cut out in lots of little pieces, and I need it to cut out in one piece. However, at the moment I can't apply path union while all the clones are linked to the original so I must unlink them. One of the easiest ways is to delete the original. The rest of them should unlink. This one currently selected is the original, so I'll delete it. Now if that fails, all you have to do is select all of the stars, click on this unlocked padlock on the top here, and that will unlink them. Then I can just go path, Union, and I've now got one piece that's suitable for cutting out. So I'll delete that and let's draw another star. This time I'm not going to change any settings, but I will change the point where it rotates. So I'll click on the star again so the center point is visible. I'm just going to hold down the control key as I move it down so it stays on a straight line. Now I can click on Create. Now I'd like these to be a little bit further spaced, so I'm just going to move the centre point down a little bit further again and click on Create. As I said just before, the one that is selected is the original. Now it is sitting underneath all of the clones. As long as it is selected, I can keep making changes here. So I can just move it up a little bit further and click on Create. When I'm happy with the design, I'll delete the original, select all of the stars and go path union. So that now acts as one piece and can be used as a stencil on some of your projects. For the next example, I'm just going to draw a little cluster of stars. Now I need to make these one object, so I'll select them all. I could group them, but that means later on I'm going to have to ungroup them. So the easiest thing to do is to go Path Union. They will now act as one piece. If I click on them again, I can see I've got one centre point and I can move it down. So Symmetry, once again I'll leave it P1 Simple Translation. Shift, I'll leave it minus 100, and at the Rotation tab, 
are basically the only settings I'll change. So I might just try it at 12. And that's a bit too squashed for the look I was trying to achieve. So I can either move the center point down and click on create. Or I can change the number in columns. So I might just change that to 10. So angle will have to be changed to 36. Click on create. Now if I decide I'd actually like the stars to be flipped the other direction. As long as the original group of stars is still selected, I can make changes. So I might just flip it vertical and I get a whole different look. I can flip it horizontal. So I can keep making changes. When I'm happy with the design, I just delete the original, select them all and apply path union. Once again, that can now be used as a stencil and be cut out of a project. In this video I've only shown the basic steps. If you visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com I do have this as a downloadable file in PDF format to help with the steps when you're creating your own designs. I'm also making a second video with a few more ideas on how tile clones with Rotate can be used when creating files for your cutter. Hope you found this video useful and thank you for your time.